I'm standing right here with Pascal, one of our one and only Bahamian pop artists. Yeah. Hi, how, how are, are you? you? I'm, I'm good. I'm good too. <laughs> I'm, I'm fabulous. So, I mean, like, okay, so I haven't, I'm not going to lie to you, I haven't, I haven't heard of you before. Uh -huh. So, what about you is putting you right now on the Bahamian map? Well, I started off singing a few years ago with Red Rat. And since then... Wait, you mean like THE Red Rat? Yes, THE Red Rat. The dance hall icon, tied up skirt, Mr. Shelly and Red Rat, yes. So much clothes, I don't have catalog, like that guy? You're a girl in the tied up skirt, yes. That Red Rat. Like that guy? <laughs> Amazing, that's awesome. So like, tell us what's putting you on the map right now. Well, I mean, since I've been working with him, um, I've worked in the studio with Blackout Movements, who's Nicki Minaj's producer, Buddha, who is Jennifer Lopez and Mark... Um, Enrique's producer, sorry Buddha, um, and I've toured, I've toured all over Europe, I've told, toured all over um, South America, North America, Africa, you name it. So now it's like I'm back here, I'm back home, and I'm ready to show the Bahamas like what my music is about and like let everyone get to know me as a person, me as an artist, and all that good stuff. So how would you describe your particular genre? How would you like, like describe well, it? I'm a, I'm a fusion. I'm like a, I'm a little bit of pop. I'm a little bit of like Caribbean. Like I, I got the Caribbean songs because you know I can't like leave out the wine in. So you know, you'll see, you'll yeah. see. So what are your inspirations? My inspirations are a lot of people. Um, I mean it goes as deep as like from Beyonce to Celine Dion to you know to Leah that sings like Spanish music to I mean everybody. Like I could look at everybody. My friends, my family, other artists, and I get I get inspired. So, what's one of your favorite moments? Probably, if you ever performed in Nassau, or like, what are your favorite? No, you know what? Not in Nassau. What is one of your favorite most performance moments? Like, I've never, I've never performed in Nassau. I'm looking forward to performing in Nassau. Hopefully, it's gonna be. But soon. tell me, what's one of your most favorite performance moments? I would definitely say it had to been. Probably Costa Rica. So far today, it, it had to be Costa Rica. So what about Costa Rica? It's just it was just the energy. It was the flow. Like it was it was just everything. Like there. Do you do you like you mentioned um, someone speaking Spanish in their album? Do you want to like do you have a, a, a yearning maybe to do like a and. Uh, uh, an a, album foreign a, album, a foreign album, a foreign album in a well, different language. The interesting thing is, is that although I am from here, I grew up, I, I lived in, in Europe for eight years, so I do speak fluent German. And I would love to someday like do an album in German or in Spanish, because I do have Spanish roots as well. So I'm, I'm trying to tap into all of it, you know? I think I sensed it, that's why I asked the question. You know, so you'd be like, I'll be the same and come with. Oh, yeah, I know. Can I watch? I watch part of the grand that's all. Can you do it? Can you do it? Nine? Nick, so? It's it's most. Oh, okay. <laughs> Whatever it's small. <laughs> I'll teach you. <laughs> She'll teach me a little bit, I think. I will. Anyway, I will. Um, so, what are, what are the plans for your future right now? Like, do you want to, would you like to probably maybe even take some mayhem and you can like teach some things and whatever? I mean, I'm sorry? Would you like to prob probably like teach 
what you know to behave in you? Of course. Or? I mean, like, I think that's an important thing. I think that if you don't, if you have a platform and you don't use it for something, then why do you have it, you know? So, of course, I want to come back. I, I want to inspire kids. And, and I've seen how I have touched kids, like, in other places that I went to and, you know, where I've done charity work and different things like that. So I would love to come back home and do the same thing here. It's amazing. <laughs> As far as your image, like as far as your image and like how you dress and how you wear yourself, um, where does that come from and where do you hope to like maybe, what do you see, how do you see yourself? I mean, well tonight, tonight is not really an, a reflection of what I look like on stage. So, um, but I am. It's a good thing in a, in a way. I feel like it's a good thing. It was good. I feel like you should look different on stage. I, I do. So, I do. what I is your stage of... persona? Maybe that's a better question, I guess. What is your stage persona? I guess. Well, her name is well the persona right now. Her name is Pasha. Like I, she has she has a name, and she's very edgy. She's very sexy. She's not afraid to tell you about your you know what. Like she keeps it a hundred. She keeps it real. But you will see that in some of my songs. It's <laughs> amazing. So. I have a question. Can you give us a sample of something that you've done before? Okay. Make way for the queen of love and passion, the queen of style and fashion, the queen of diamonds and cash. And I got a closet full of clothes and I'm always looking smash. Step aside for the queen of beauty and health, prosperity, fortune and wealth. I'm the queen of music and party, fun and excitement. Oh, and I love to be naughty. Hey, what's up, busy girl Pascal? And keep it locked to caraboom.com because they hot. Caraboom.com right now with Siobhan from Jamaica. How yes. are you? I'm great. You just had a wonderful performance. Yeah, yeah. It was, it was How really, crazy really good. was it? It was really, 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 really good. I had a, much, a lot of fun. Lots of fun there. I have a question. Aren't you hot right now? Um, I just like got the chance to wipe off some sweat, so I'm, I'm cooling down now. He doesn't even sweat, you guys. Like, he's so cool. Like, you know what I mean? Like, look, like he's so cool, he can wear like, you know, purple in the heat, and that's cool, whatever. <laughs> how, are you, how are you enjoying the Bahamas right now? Oh, it's always nice to be here. It's always, always nice to be in Nassau. Um, I get a lot of love here, you know? So yeah. I really appreciate that. So it's always good. When you get love, you just take it, you know? So it's good to be here. Take it where you get it, yeah, take you know? It it, yeah. Just take it where you get it. Yeah. So, <laughs> So how do you explain your music? Like, um, how, where, where, where did you begin and where do you want to go? Oh, wow. Um, started singing from like six years old in church. Um, then I won, a really, I won a really huge competition when I was 10 in Jamaica. What was that? It's called Tasty Talent Competition in Jamaica. Like an island-wide competition. It was really big for me then. Um, started high school then, so it was crazy. There a lot of competitions during high school and just kind of built up. That, that, that practice, you know. Um, then after that, went to college. Studied music, Edna Manley College. Edna Manley College of the Visual, it's in Kingston. Yeah, so studied music. So after that, I just started touring, doing tours in Europe and in Africa and in the US. And you went to Africa? Yeah, I've been to Africa. How did you get, like, do you have a manager? Like, a, uh, you know, like. I mean, at that time, at that time I, was, I was a part of, uh, I was the lead singer. Uh, for a band called C Sharp. Really? Yeah, so we, we did a lot of tours with, with Richard Marley, Tony Rebel, um, Jimmy Cliff as well. So we, we toured like everywhere. So that, that get, did a lot for me, like just you know, learning on the road, like getting up that knowledge and that wisdom about how the, how the stage is, how the road is, you know, so it's really you good. You are calling off most of everybody's like, most like, the, the, the role models <laughs> in life. Like, he looks like lack of days ago. Oh, I was just with Ritter Marley, <laughs> Jimmy Cliff. Like, who cares? <laughs> no, like, no. Yeah, I mean, no. uh, you know, I was just like, you know, like, 
They just happen to be around these guys. Really? Yeah, they admire us and they brought us on the road with them. So, I mean, it's, just a, it's great, like a blessing, you know, to have, have that kind of history and that kind of love from everybody. It works with Barry's Hammer and so on. So, so do you want, I mean, I'm sure you want to be like that person to someone else. Yeah, of course. And have you met any person that's young and you want to like push them forward? Yeah, for sure. Like you have, you have, you have three artists, younger artists now that I'm, I've been working with a lot. Um, Double R is one. I, I, I called her up on stage tonight. Um, yeah. yeah, Javada is a, is one as well. Um, Javada, he's a part of Conscience yeah. Group, Subconscious Music, as well as A Game. So right now, like I always look out for dudes that like, and, and just young talent, because I know what it is for for Barry's to you call me them. on stage, yeah, yeah and for 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 Jacquier to call me and you know look out that kind of love. That kind of love is always is always massive. That's amazing. Always massive. I mean, so. I, I know you do reggae, but like, do yeah. you want to do any other genres? Do you, are you inspired by any other genres? I grew up on, on everything that was everything else but reggae. Like, reggae came into my life, like in high school, I was introduced to Peter Tash. Yes, um, and my love grew for that, you know? Um, and then Barry Hammond played a huge role in like my college days. He brought me up to his studio at home and he just taught me a lot about, about Jamaican music fully, you know? so. Um, but it's always, my music is not just reggae, it's not just R&B, it's all of it packed up in each song. What about the feel? Like, I, I'm pretty sure maybe you want to have a certain feel. You yeah, know what I mean? Like, like Taurus and them and, Bar and Barris, they have like a, a real smooth feel. Do you have a feel for your music? Um, it's really how it makes people feel. That's what matters most, you know? Um, I, I sing from a very honest, from a very... I'm a very just honest, and that's the one word that honest I can place. say. Yeah, it's an honest place. Everything that I sing about, I live about, you know? So whatever whatever smile, whatever tear, whatever embrace it gives to people's hearts or to people's minds, that's everything to me. Do you find that when you perform your like particular songs, like you have a different feel with different crowds? Or? Oh yeah, for sure. Like Know Your Friends, Know Your Friends is most loved in Bahamas. Like really? every, everywhere in the world knows it, but Bahamas loves that song more than anything else so big up bahamas us. <laughs> big up all how many islands over 600 see that everybody in bahamas big up because know your I'm know your thing. friends that's your song right now all over the world seven continents everywhere else know your friends is 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 what it is because of bahamas i thank you so much no that's the truth that's amazing that's the truth yeah what else have you experienced that we don't know about that i can't really ask about <laughs> Here in Bahamas? Yeah. Wow. Um, like, I don't know. Let's no, ask. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> um, Bahamas is always just nice. Like, um, when did some interviews. It's always meeting people here, getting to, to, to realize what kind of music they love and appreciate. Yeah. It makes me feel good sending my music here, you know? Because I know that eventually my songs are going to get more love. The subject of your, like, the, what's the content of your music mostly? Like? My music is about life and love. Life and love. Yeah, that's it. And you know what? That's all life is. Yeah, love. And so anyway, so, so who are you hanging out with tonight? I'm hanging out with Caraboom.com. One and only, of course. Yeah, man, someone in the building. Team Coalition is here, Trustees here, Double R is here. That's what's up. Thank you.